hi everyone welcome to another video um so today i'm going to be talking about my little pony creepypastas um i am going to be reading off a script so if i'm looking over here i'm sorry i cannot memorize a script to save my life so that's what's ha happening um yeah so today i want to talk about my little pony creepypastas before we start, I won't be showing any clips, but I will be talking about things like gore, infection, creepypastas, etc. So if you're more of a visual person, you should be fine. But if you don't like hearing about this stuff at all, I would suggest skipping this video. Um, so I will be using words like deleting and deleted instead of the alternative because I'm more comfortable that way and I don't think anyone needs to know. I think everyone understands what the alternative is. So I think we're good with the words like deleting and deleted. Okay, so personally, me, myself, I have never watched any creepypastas, My Little Pony creepypastas intentionally. I have seen clips by accident that gave me nightmares, quite literally, I'm not joking. Um, and I have... I've followed a few people on Instagram who do infection creepypastas, but I'll talk about that more later. So this is just what I am aware of and my opinion. If you disagree with me, that's okay. I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section. Um, just be, please be respectful of everyone's opinions. Uh, so the most popular My Little Pony creepypastas, as far as I'm aware, are Smile HD, The Rainbow Factory, and Cupcake Factory. I will be going over what all of these are and not in immense detail because i have not personally watched any of them i've seen clips unfortunately so let's get started um in most of these it's fan animations of my little pony characters deleting each other so um smile hd this is probably the most famous one um smile itself is a song from the show my little pony friendship is magic generation four um it's generally good it's a song i i like the song but this ruined, for, ruined it for me, so. Um, in the show, the character singing the song is Pinkie Pie, and in this fan animation, Pinkie Pie is attempting to delete her friends, if you catch my drift. Um, finally, after a lot of deleting, Fluttershy comes in, who is not there prior to this, and the song is playing the whole time. I don't know if I said that yet. Um, so Fluttershy comes in, and tries to delete Pinkie Pie to save her friends and that's what I am aware of. Again, I've never watched this so this is what I have gathered from what I have seen. Um, I could be wrong on some of this stuff so take this all with a grain of salt but yeah that's pretty messed up. I, I would say that's pretty messed up. Um, I don't know that much about the Rainbow Factory and Cupcake Factory but I will state what I do know. So, The Rainbow Factory is about Rainbow Dash, thus the name, um, and some form of her being deleted or doing the deleting, I'm honestly not aware which of these it is, um, and the deleting is the theme for most of these videos. Uh, this video is inspired by the fact that The Rainbow Factory is a real place in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, but of course has nothing to do with this. It's where the ponies make weather. I'm not joking. Watch the show. It's good. Um, so that's as far as I'm aware of the Rainbow Factory. And then the Cupcake Factory, I believe, is to be inspired by the Rainbow Factory due to the similar names. And I think this one was made after it. I could be wrong. I didn't want to look it up because I don't want to be tra traumatized. Um, but yeah, um, this one is about Pinkie Pie again. She seems to be a popular choice for these fan animations. Um, and in this one, she's either being deleted or doing the deleting. I think she's doing the deleting. That seems to be the general theme with Pinkie Pie. I don't know why. I guess someone just like hated Pinkie Pie and made her evil. Um, yeah. But aside from creepypastas like this, infections are probably the second most popular one. Basically, an infection one pony gets infected with something or other and then it ends up spreading pretty standard infectiony stuff personally i enjoy some of these 
as I stated earlier, there's someone I follow on Instagram whose main thing is an infection AU. AU meaning alternate or alternate universe. And I genuinely enjoy it. I think it's a fun idea. But then, very often, way too often, the designs for these infected characters get way out of hoof. I some of these have genuinely scared me more than I could think was possible with my little pony. Um, and as far as I'm aware, um, My Little Pony infections were popularized and inspired by the episodes in the show 28 Pranks Later, in which, um, the entire town pulls a prank on Rainbow Dash because she's been pranking them, um, and they pretend that they've all been infected with a type of cookie. Um, it, it all ends well, because My Little Pony. Um, and then we have Applebuck season. This one is a really brief scene in the show, but uh, there's um, a cupcake that is baked very incorrectly with like earthworms and stuff. And when um, some pony eats it, they get very sick. So I think that might be some of the inspiration. And then the last one is a health of information. This one I'm not sure about, but basically um, there's a tree that infects ponies and makes them turn into trees which is really disturbing when you think about it because then you think then you realize that the whole forest could be ponies um okay so that's pretty much my summarization for the creepy possums themselves um now i'm gonna explain my problem with them i personally think it's perfectly fine for people to enjoy horror i enjoy her horror mild horror not intense horror um but there are problems with it, like very many problems. So one of my problems with these is that on many of these videos, there is no content warning. So no one knows what they're about to watch. So a five-year-old could click on this video thinking they're about to see My Little Pony characters having fun, going on a picnic, and then see that thing. Um, so I'm not a fan of the no content warning, and then my main problem with it, excuse the main, uh, pun, uh, my main problem with it is that I understand posting stuff like this on platforms where it's just adults and older people, um, even if I'm not a fan of it, I understand it, and I am quite aware that YouTube has an age requirement, but as I'm sure everyone is aware, not many people follow that. I myself am under the requirement. And yes, I understand you could make the argument that it's not my place to talk about this if I'm not the intended audience, but I would like to, so here we are. Um, but YouTube has thousands of five-year-olds. Uh, they could be, they could have their own account. They could and li have lied about their age. They could be on a parent's account. There are so many ways that very young children get on YouTube. And so they're looking up their favorite show, and finding this. And I highly doubt the majority of five-year-olds enjoy seeing their favorite characters brutally deleting each other. I'm just saying. And most people who post these are adults or just under. And at this age, you should know how many young kids there are on this platform and how many are going to click on your video and quite literally be traumatized. I've seen so many people get traumatized by these videos. One of my favorite YouTubers, Smokey B, made a video about how these things traumatize her. It's not just me. It's a lot of people. And that's where the problem is. As an adult, it is your responsibility to at least, at the very least, put a content warning. Whether, like, that is your responsibility, whether you like it or not. And I'm sorry if I'm, like, sounding very annoying, because I realize I'm sounding annoying and kind of like Karen. I'm not trying to be. I'm just this is concerning. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for today. Those are my main concerns. Um, I might make a part two about this when I learn a little more about the whole idea, but I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you made any of these? Do you enjoy these? Whatever your opinion is, I'd love to hear it as long as you're being respectful. Um, like and subscribe if you want, and enjoy the rest of your day.